Well, the proceedings have concluded here on day number two of the NHL draft from Nashville, wrapping up on the draft floor. The Calgary Flames adding six new players to their organization as things conclude here today, including five uh, through the second round and seventh rounds here this afternoon. Let's start with their first pick today, 48th overall. Etienne Moran was the selection out of the Moncton Wildcats QMJHL. I got a text message earlier this week from current Calgary Flame Jacob Pelche just wishing him luck. Of course, a former Moncton Wildcat, and uh, as luck would have it, he ends up joining the same organization. So ties already for Moran, a defenseman who's got high offensive upside, tied for top uh, leading scorer in his team this past season with the Moncton Wildcats. And then after that, in the third round, they would select one of the other players that they had high on their list that happened to be there when they went to select at 80th overall. Idar Sunyev out of the Penticton Visa, Russian forward who had eye-popping numbers, 45 goals, 45 assists, 90 points for that Penticton V's team that won the BCHL championship this season. Both Craig Conroy and head scout Todd Button were very pleased to get both of those players that high and in those spots early in the draft on day two. To get Moran and Sunyev where we did, I was I was surprised to be totally honest. I was I mean we were at the table thinking debating upon the two as we were getting to that point, and then we went with Moran, and then uh, to be able to get Suniev after is seemed yeah it seemed like you know everything just fell into place for us uh, moving today. I mean I said before like I think our prospect base is missing a little skill with size, and uh, but we weren't gonna go away from skill just for size. We went, they had to be together, and it worked out. It worked out with, uh, obviously, uh, Samuel Hanzik, who's a highly skilled guy. Sunyev had 90 points, really good goal scorer. So after Moran and Sunyev go in the second and third round, respectively, the other player that was here in Nashville and got to hear his name called came in the fourth round, and that was Jaden Lipinski. Again, a guy that has ties to the organization already, a teammate of first round pick Sam Honzik, who happens to be in the building and see his teammate now join him as a member of the Calgary Flames in the fourth round. So smiles all around for Lipinski, a member of that Vancouver Giants team, another big forward that gets added here today. Everybody's excited, you know, I mean, that's the thing. Everybody's, when you kind of, with, with Jaden, it's nice because Hanzig right off the bat yeah. was like, I guess over the moon up, you know, he was, I was getting texts from Cohen Snow, you know, he was texting his dad saying, yeah. you know, Hanzig's very excited about this. So, you know, it just, it makes it good. You, you want guys to be excited. You want guys to be, uh, you know, excited to come to Calgary. No, to be honest, I actually forgot you went to Calgary and then someone mentioned it. I'm like, oh my God, that's, that's awesome. So it'll be cool yeah. to see some familiar faces. What's, uh, I mean, yeah. what's going on? Yeah, well, obviously he's a great player, and uh, there are a lot of great players here, but the thing about Hansi is he's a really good guy off the ice, and so, you know, we get along, and I really like to hang out with him. So the Flames draft concludes with two picks in the sixth and seventh rounds, respectively, a goaltender and a defenseman. The goaltender is out of Russia, big six foot three guy that the director of goaltending, Jordan Siglet, was high on. Yegor Yegorov, he is the sixth round selection. And then in the seventh, defenseman Axel Hertwig, who uh, Todd Button described as a bit of a project, but an opportunity there to really hone his skills. A Swedish defenseman rounds out the uh, final picks here this afternoon. And all told, three forwards, two defensemen, and a goaltender joined the organization and now we look ahead to development camp that starts next week back in Calgary.